a true pioneer who joins us next. The first woman to receive the Pete Rozelle Award given by the Pro Football Hall of Fame, also a member of the Sports Writers and Sportscasters Hall of Fame, an absolute legend in her own right. Please a warm welcome for Leslie Visser. I remember one Christmas in New York, he gave all my girlfriends the Madden Cruiser, and there were about 15 or 20 of us, and as the bus was pulling away, John was yelling in the middle of the street, any of you single girls who can't get lucky Christmas week going around on the Madden Cruiser to bars, you are losers, losers. Over an illustrious career that spanned four and a half decades and is still going strong, Leslie Visser has set the standard and paved the way. She began writing for the Boston Globe in 1974 after winning a prestigious Carnegie Foundation grant. Two years later, she became the first woman on the NFL beat, covering the New England Patriots. Over the next 12 years, she built her strong journalistic reputation while navigating an overtly discriminatory media landscape, often being shut out from locker rooms and equal access to players. Leslie Visser rejoins us now with a look at the drive. Transitioning to television in the 1980s, she became the only sportscaster, male or female, to work the network broadcasts of the Final Four, the Super Bowl, the World Series, the NBA Finals, the Olympics, the U.S. Open, the World Figure Skating Championships, and Horse Racing's Triple Crown. Jim, Bob Knight is here. Bob, how are you able to defeat Temple? We scored more points than they did. That's something that you may have missed in the news media, that the team, when the buzzer blows... Yeah, 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 yeah. CBS sent me to the fall of the Berlin Wall, which was, of course, the story of the century. I watched people who walked from Dresden and Potsdam for days through the Brandenburg Gate just to taste freedom. One day, athletes from East and West Germany might compete for the same Olympic team. Leslie Visser, CBS Sports. Among her trailblazing efforts, she became the first woman to present the Lombardi Trophy at a Super Bowl, to work as an NFL analyst in the broadcast booth, and to work on ABC's Monday Night Football. Working the sidelines, Leslie Visser. Hi, Leslie. Thank you very much, Al. Really glad to be here. She was also the first woman to go down the Olympic bobsled, invited by the U.S. team in 1992. In 2006, she was the first woman inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Please welcome to the mound, Leslie Visser. A cultural icon. She was even the first female sportscaster to appear in a Super Bowl commercial. Okay, Mike, through the tunnel, off Leslie Visser's head. Pressure on the quarter. What was that? Always a storyteller. Yeah. Leslie has been just as prolific in the last decade, whether it be engaging with the biggest personalities in sports. Hey, Leslie, you know I love you, girl. Contributing to the first all-women's national sports talk show, We Need to Talk. Missy, do you think most ballet dancers are underappreciated as athletes? Oh, absolutely. All the hard work is hidden behind the curtain or launching her own podcast series, In Conversation with Leslie Visser. She's a constant role model for the next generation of women in the industry. Do you get tired of listening to all the firsts? That no, I mean, I'll repeat this again. I always say, you know, nobody landed on Normandy by himself. Now, Leslie adds one more first to her resume, the first woman to win the Sports Emmy Lifetime Achievement Award. Leslie has not only opened doors, but she knocked them down. And she always did it with integrity, compassion for everyone around her, and a great sense of humor. I really don't know where we'd be without Leslie Visser, but I'm glad she came first. Any woman who ever aspired to do what Leslie did probably got the idea from Leslie. And I'm not sure that you can give any higher praise than that.